Hi, I'm Katie Ullman reporting for Katie Chats at Hot Docs in downtown Toronto. <laughs> I'm here with Suzanne Crocker and Gerard Parsons. How does it feel to have your film all the time in the world screening at Hot Docs? It's really a dream come true. I'm so excited to have it at Hot Docs in Toronto. Awesome. Yes, we're quite delighted to be here. Thank you. And tell me a little bit about, you know, coming up with this idea of taking your three kids and your pets all up into the Yukon for a year, living very remotely. Well, really, our life was getting a bit too hectic, and uh, we were just finding the distractions of life between work projects, computers, technology were taking over, and we weren't having enough time as a family. And so we decided we had to kind of go cold turkey and uh, leave all that behind, including clocks and watches, and just go somewhere where we wouldn't be tempted mm -hmm. and, uh, and get our, our act together. So that's what we did. And it wasn't such a step for us. We were already living in the Yukon, so we were familiar with the wilderness and, uh, and we sort of had the skill set and the awareness already for that. So. Absolutely. And living, uh, you know, remotely for a year, what was the biggest thing you learned, you know, just listening to your inner clocks and being outside so much? I think being out in the wilderness is really grounding for the soul and uh, everything just kind of falls into place that way. And it was amazing to see the creativity and the resourcefulness of the kids during that time when you take away things that are meant to entertain them and all of a sudden they're able to entertain themselves in amazing ways. As a family we became so much closer which was also so, so special. And, uh, and humor and creativity came back into our lives as adults, which was also unexpected and, and really great. It was a surprise to us, actually, to find that, uh, you know, we, we had so much time with the kids that and we were so accustomed beforehand in the trap of saying, well, not now, later, you know, all those words that parents say to their children a dozen times a day were words that for almost a year we stopped using entirely. Uh, and we just went with the flow, whatever they wanted to do. We did, and so it was just excellent that way. Awesome. And what being, you know, re being remote and far from healthcare and all of that, what was the biggest, what was the scariest moment for you, or if there was one? I know the film explores that a little bit. <laughs> well, I would say overall that the risks of living in the bush are much less than the risks of living in the city. So in general, it didn't feel like this big, dangerous adventure at all. It was quite comfortable. I think the difference is if something does go wrong, then help is harder to access, obviously, when you're when you're remote. For me, the only part that I really found scary would be uh, when Gerard would have to leave and travel on a sort of frozen river. And uh, usually he had a way of turning everything into an adventure. So sometimes he'd come back days after he was expected. And I had no communication with him and so I didn't know if he was okay or not okay and if I should try and go look for him but I couldn't really go look for him because I couldn't leave the kids. That was the hardest time for me. Yeah and I think likewise for me it was the travel. Uh, if we didn't have the travel either by boat or by skidoo or any other way on my ice uh, uh, it would have been easier. It was just the uncertainty of the travel and not really knowing how the weather was going to treat us uh, on that trip and whether the machines would start, which sometimes they didn't, yeah. uh, and whether we had to go through some adventure that way. And where's the best place for us to find out more information on the film online? All the time in the world .ca. Okay. Well, thank you so much and congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Thank you. I'm Katie Ullman reporting for Katie Chats at Hot Docs in downtown Toronto.